readers. Today we're reading Bella and Jack Bring Back the Beef, written by Paula Borgius, illustrated by Jose Bissat Elon. Bella was B crazy, and Jack um, wasn't. When Bella wanted to study honeybees for their science fair project, Jack moaned, I don't even like bees. Bella insisted, I already know a lot about bees, so the project will be easy peasy. Jack had at least four other great ideas, but he couldn't argue with that. This weekend, we can bite to the farm in the city and talk to Mr. Papa Dupoulos, the beekeeper. Mr. P loves bees even more than me. That Saturday, Bella told Jack about how she once dressed in a beekeeper's suit and helped Mr. P check inside the hives. That sounds scary. No, bees are gentle, said Bella. They're scared of us disturbing the queen and her thousands of new babies. Thousands of baby bees, Jack shuddered. And 50,000 workers, said Bella, grinning. When they reached Mr. P's hives, Bella knew something was wrong. Her old beekeeper friend sat alone on a stump looking terribly sad. My bees are gone, said Mr. P. I was afraid of this. Honeybees everywhere were vanishing. That's terrible, said Bella. Mr. P sighed. I wish I could tell them I'm sorry. Bella was confused. Sorry? But you love the bees and took care of them. Mr. P was thoughtful. I think they needed something more. Bella thought she might cry, but instead she told Jack, We're going to find Mr. P's bees. We are? said Jack. Yes, said Bella. It's our mission. Panicked, Jack said, but what about our science project? Bella gave him a look. Jack sighed. The friends sat off, set off. We could put up posters like when a dog goes missing, said Jack. There's no time, said Bella. Let's ask if anyone has seen the bees. They met a couple of farmers picking blueberries and told them about Mr. P's bees. Oh, we need bees, said one farmer. They carry pollen from flower to flower so that food like these blueberries will grow. Did you know we have the bees to thank for one in every three bites of food we eat? Amazing, said Bella, who thought she already knew everything about bees. The other farmer told them that he hardly sees bees anymore. In the old days, there were fields of flowers. Honeybees need flowers, lots of them, different kinds, different colors. Bees drink the nectar and turn it into honey for their hive. I don't see any bees either, said Jack. Maybe this is an impossible mission. Bella sighed. We have to keep trying. They kept looking until Jack's stomach grumbled with hunger. Bella jumped off her bike. She danced in a figure eight, a wiggle to the right, a waggle to the left, a frantic wiggle waggle, and then she went around in circles, all the while pointing to her bike basket. What are you doing? asked Jack. Bees danced to tell each other where to find food, and I packed us lunches. Jack ate all of his lunch and half of Bella's. I wonder what bees eat if there aren't any flowers, said Jack. Hmm, said Bella. Back on their bikes, they reach some rows of new houses. There's nothing here for the bees to eat either, said Bella. She began flapping her arms as fast as she could. What are you doing now, asked Jack. Bees flap their wings 200 to 600 beats per second, and they'll travel almost 10 kilometers just to find food. Then Mr. P's bees could be anywhere by now, said Jack, alarmed. Bella looked at him slyly. Wait, are you starting to like bees? 
Maybe, he said. They seem really important. So let's keep going, said Bella. She was more determined than ever. Na Next, they searched their neighborhood until finally exhausted and frustrated, they found a place to sit. But then at the same time, they saw the honeybees. The friends marveled as the bees flew up, up, up to the roof of a fancy hotel. Follow those bees, shouted Bella. They might be Mr. Peas. They ran through the hotel's lobby and took the elevator all the way to the top. They were in awe. They had found a bee paradise, but the beekeeper had sad news for them. When bees disappear like Mr. Peas did, we never see them again. One reason is that there aren't as many wildflowers growing now, and so there's not enough food for the bees. Jack's bottom lip trembled. Bella took a deep breath. She had something important to tell the bees. Bella curtsied to one of the hives. Your Majesty, said Bella to the Queen Bee, we're so sorry that honeybees are disappearing, but we promised to help bring back the bees. The beekeeper smiled and gave them a packet of wildflower seeds. You can start with these, she said. When they presented their winning science fair project the following week, Bella dressed in a bee costume and Jack wore a bee striped tie. To start, Bella told the audience, we need to give the bees more wildflowers. Let's be like honeybees, Jack added. Let's work together. Mr. P jumped up and applauded. Soon everyone was pledging to help. Wallflowers in parks, rooftop gardens, and beehives, bee-friendly school garden and beehive, windows and gardens and planters, window wallflowers and window boxes. <clears throat> Bella and Jack had finished their project, but not their mission. They kept their promise to the bees. Wherever they went, they scattered wallflower seeds. These aren't just seeds, said Bella. I know, said Jack. They're hope for the bees. Bella's awesome bee facts. A typical honeybee colony has one queen and up to 50,000 workers. Bees do a ram dance and a waggle dance to show other bees where to find food. Bees have good color vision. They especially like blue, purple, violet, white, and yellow. Bees take pollen from one flower to another, which helps them grow which helps plants to grow fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Bees need wildflower pollen to stay and nectar. Wildflower pollen and nectar to stay happy and healthy. The end.